Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you the demonstration on food printing. This is Ravindra from Cyber Security. Let's start. Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you the demonstration on food printing. Passive food printing is method of gathering information without touching the target. It actually starts with basic information that we know, which includes names, websites, etc. There are some tools and online services which helps in doing our job. Let's check them one by one. Number one, who is? WIS is a query and response protocol that is widely used for querying database that store the registered users of an internet resources such as domain, IP address or autonomous systems. <sighs> Enter the domain here. Bingo. Here it is. You will get the, all the information about the domain important dates, registered on, expired on, name servers, registered data, etc. You, you can get emails, phone number, postal codes, etc. This is the OES. Now, number 3 Google queries. Now, now a special website which is used to browse archived pages, I mean information that is no longer exist on site. Archive.org I will show you the difference this is the present page how it looks but if you go back 
1999 let's say here are the snapshots captured yeah this is how it looks on that day on 1998 February this is how it looks cool sight to get the backdated informations clear difference number 5 is social network for example you can use facebook twitter etc for finding their email phone numbers personal pages etc it is so easy you can do it now number 6 business networks just like linkedin.com and uh, spokeo.com unlike facebook you need uh, you no need to log in to find people just uh, any random name my name here it is you found sorry yeah you can pr- find the different profiles and uh, find the current past education etc about them complete details spokeo is also one of them you can find with name phone numbers addresses etc if you have the correct identity and the f- last website which is my favorite that is netcraft.com this is the as i described i choose passive filter and over active this site really el- helps us because it also attempts to determine who is to the domain different different sites just see the site report yes see ip addresses it gives the os and server name and also the last seen here date generally represents the date the system was last rebooted or updated means in case we see last date this would imply that any security os patches that have been supplied in the internet have not been applied to this system as hacker it's valuable information as it tells us that any vulnerability to this system that have been found since uh, date are still available on the system as no vulnerability page patches has been updated here the web trackers and site technology site technology listings provides us with information and hacker can seek out the vulnerabilities i um, i can say netcraft 85% probability of being correct that's i enough in for information on a website so this is how it carries out end of the lesson in my next video i will show you the active put printing processes thank you in the end in this is the tutorial on passive put printing in my next video i will be